up. I should ask for some milk. That was a really bad mistake, you guys. In this video, we're at the most overrated, the most unbelievably popular wing spot in the country. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm letting my followers decide what I eat, and I'm also gonna be eating the spiciest wing on the menu. Join me. First off, a bone-in lemon pepper, looking crispy, crunchy is exactly what we want. Dry and flavorless. Holy shit, we're off to a terrible start. That meat, it's like you're licking a chalkboard. Covered with seasoning, but the seasoning don't taste like shit. Like, it's so dry, it almost has a pleasantly crunchy texture. But then you get to the meat, and it's like it's sapping the moisture from my mouth. Tragic. This is the boneless Thai curry. It has the kind of color that makes you think this is like almost an authentic curry on here. This is sad. It has a really great curry flavor. It's almost sickening how salty this is. F up a good thing with all the sodium. Damn it, why do I think the taco is going to be one of the best things I have at Wingstop? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. This is damn good. Savory, aromatic, got fresh veggies in there. So far, I'm more satisfied with that than the wings. God help us. I'm going to skip to these because this looks ball tickling good. The cheese curds with a caramel sauce. Absolutely phenomenal. The crispy, the salty, and the gooiness and sweetness of the caramel. Again, that sweet and savory. If you like chocolate covered pretzels, you're going to dig this one. Which one of y'all fat asses accidentally stumbled upon this? They made this a national sensation. All right, back to the wings. This is a honey barbecue boneless. I have fond memories of honey barbecue. You remember those KFC honey barbecue wings? Those were the absolute shit. And so anytime I go to like a big brand and they have a honey barbecue, I'm hoping that they use the same honey barbecue as KFC did. And of course, boneless wings are just nuggets. So let's see how this nugget is. It's not the same. So dry. So much sodium on every. Thing. You taste like that liquid smoke flavor. You just really don't need all this damn salt on everything. I don't even want to finish it. Now we got the spicy garlic. I'm a fan of buffalo. I'm a fan of garlic. They, this should tickle the balls, but we will see what happens. Whoever is in the back of that kitchen or whoever is creating these recipes, that motherfucker need to be turned into the FDA. What am I going to say? Salty as shit. Damn it, that's really all I'm getting from that. Salt and spice. It's not looking good, you guys. Next, we have the suggestion of the cheeseburger with the mango sauce. Weird combination. But I am not a bitch. Let's bust down a fry for the one, two. See what we got here. Hold on. Fry is super good. Surprisingly, not super salty. This is a big, hefty bitch of a burger. I am very impressed by the size of it. I mean, it's a good bar burger. The beef tastes good. Not a lot of seasoning on the meat at all, but it tastes fresh. And that um, mango, could have kept that shit off of there. That is not for me. The spiciness and the sweetness completely clashes and doesn't complement the burger at all, in my opinion. These are the cauliflower wings with the Asian zing sauce. Isn't it funny how us Americans can take the healthiest thing, batter it, sauce it, and make it absolutely terrible for us. We have a fucking talent over here. Garbage. Only because I'm a fan of cauliflower. Just saute up me some cauliflower with some herbs and garlic. I'll go to town. But I like it to be, what's the vegetable equivalent of al dente? You might need a little bit of bite to that bitch. These are cooked down so much where it's almost mush in the middle and the only thing holding it together is the crispy batter. All right, we're about to get for the blazing. These are their blazing wings, the hottest wing on the menu. Now, my waitress asked if I wanted to take the blazing wing challenge, where apparently you eat 10 in 20 minutes, um, you get your name on some kind of like wall nationally. Now, I've done things like the hot ones challenge and the one chip challenge. And I'll put a link to them um, somewhere above my head. Um, it's. <sighs> It's just not a risk I'm, I'm willing to take. But I will try one of these. I got a feeling that they don't look crazy hot to me. I don't know why. They just look like a regular buffalo, right? But I can get proven to be a bitch right here. Oh, let's see what we got. All right. There is a little tickle on my nose when I um, sniff this bitch. Oh, God. All right. Fucking I ain't no bitch. Oh, this is fucked up. I should ask for some milk. That was a really bad mistake, you guys. The only thing that helps is keeping my tongue submerged in a drink. Oh God. All you taste is again salt and the devil's balls. At least with the hot ones, they have, each one has like flavor. This is just capsaicin. Like it's dying down relatively fast, but there's like, there's barely any flavor. Fuck me. That was a very poor decision I made um, just for this video. Yeah, if you are curious about the, the blazing wings, at Buffalo Wild Wings, 
Yeah, they're they're a challenge. But all they do is put your name on a fucking wall. <clears throat> Disrespectful. Fucks. All in all, I I still don't really fuck with Buffalo Wild Wings like that. The tacos may have been the best thing I had. That is a sad ass reality, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what else I should try, folks. I've been me. You continue to be you, and I will see you soon. <laughs>